Hello, I'm Inventor Dan Zen. We're here at dodoflash.wordpress.com. Dodo lets you do blob detection with just a webcam and flash and is part of the Flash Feathers series of advanced interface classes at flashfeathers.wordpress.com. These classes allow you to do uh, multi-touch, multi-user, tilt technologies, etc. Uh, we've got a video section, such as this video right here. A code shows you uh, quickly some sample code. And uh, about about us, down here we've got a blog. The various flash feathers are to the right, as well as uh, the flash feathers feed news on, on the things. Um, if you like Dodo, uh, you are welcome to donate here through Karmacha at the left. Or we'll add your link um, and uh, let's uh, start a little bit of a community if we can. The download uh, is right here, and let's take a look and see what's in that zip. We have a com file where the classes are, a, an icons flash file for the various flash feathers icons, a readme text which tells you how to install the classes, and a samples folder. Uh, in the com folder, Dan Zen, interfaces, there's Dodo inside of Dodo are the various classes we'll be using as well as the pain class, which uh, the sensitivity um, thing uses, and uh, Goose. Goose is the multi-touch um, multi uh, series of action script classes. Okay, in the samples folder, where we do most of the work, there's blobs and a cursor blobs. Uh, uh, blobs just show blobs. Cursor blobs turn those blobs into cursors using Goose and uh, the samples, they're the document uh, classes for those. Let's take a look in Flash and try out the blob example. There she goes and I turn on my light and there's a blob following the light. Now I'm just shining a light on black plastic from a, a duotang cover. Now we've got two lights uh, going there. I'll just turn off the one. Bloop. Um, with this one, we'll adjust the sensitivity. If I reduce the sensitivity now, it gets kind of smaller, 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 and disappears. And I bring it up, and now it's uh, encompassing all of that light. So that's roughly how the sensitivity works. Okay, um, there we go. That's one example. Let's see how that works. We import com.danzen.interfaces.dodo. That's the Dodo package. And the Dodo package includes a camera, Dodo camera, Dodo blobs, Dodo config. And we make uh, a new instance of each of those and add them to the stage. Uh, the camera is the camera that the you know that uh, going to try and detect the blobs. Uh, Dodo blobs uh, does that detection and places the pink circles on the on the blobs, and the config allows you to set that. Um, now, when you use that config panel, you can also uh, do Shift D. Shift D will make it disappear and uh, come back again. You'll want to make sure that you've disabled keyboard shortcuts, otherwise Shift D might try and do something else in Flash. Okay. Uh, now let's move around some pictures. So this is turning the blobs into uh, cursors using Goose. Goose is available through Flash Feathers as well, and it's the multi uh, multi-touch set of classes. We run that now, and take our light. Um, now I can move around that picture using uh, using this light. And if we get a second one, uh, I can um, scale the picture bigger and smaller by bringing it together. Isn't that cool? And uh, let's see, got all these lights hanging around. Oops, uh, that moves them both because I sat on both of them. And uh, down here, if I sit just on this one, then I can move uh, this picture around. So um, what this is is just uh, a light through some um, through the back of a duo tang that's on top of a shoebox, and then I put the camera uh, at the back there, pointing in. When I shine the light on it, it picks it up as a as a blob detection. 
Let's take a look at the code that does that one. We import Dodo again, and we also import the Goose. Uh, <laughs> the Goose. Uh, the Goose package. And with um, Dodo, we bring in the camera, uh, the, the Dodo blobs. Again, camera and the Dodo blobs, just like before. But we also have Dodo data. Now what Dodo data is, is um, we pass Dodo data the blobs that we want to get the data from, and that basically gives us the x and y coordinates. Uh, whenever those x and y coordinates of the blobs change, uh, we call feed goose. Uh, feed goose is down here, and what goose uh, feed goose does is it updates our goose object. But we haven't seen our goose object yet, so let's take a look at that. Uh, my goose is a new goose. And we add that. What that does is it um, adds the motion cursor, or adds the sorry, multi-touch cursors uh, wherever there are blobs. And those multi-touch cursors are kind of special. They have special listeners, a press listener, press down on pick one. We will call uh, call press down function. And when we press down on pick two, we'll also call call press down. Okay, so we'll take a look at that in just a second. Um, we've created the goose. Goose has a method, uh, so my goose.update, and update is how we can tell those multi-touch cursors um, the x and y coordinates of uh, whatever our uh, you know our blobs, etc. So there's my dodo data dot xml data that passes the data. It's in a special format called multiml, and you should take a look at uh, goose flash.wordpress.com if you want to see how to use Goose. So we've passed uh, Goose our data where our blobs are. It makes some cursors for us and those cursors can operate on the pictures um, like so. Uh, call press down. Whenever we press down on it, uh, first of all we want to make sure that the pictures come up uh, or the one picture that we press on comes up above the other and yet we still need our cursors to be at the very top, so that's what this is doing. And we run two uh, methods on Goose, start follow and start scale. And what that does is when we press on it, it will, depending on these cursors, it adds this cursor uh, to the batch of them, that are affecting this object. Uh, point one is um, how quickly as we move how quickly the picture will move towards uh, the multi-touch cursor and we had some easing uh, placed in there um, and then we're taking an average of all cursors to be able to move that around so once again uh, Goose is a fun multi-touch set of classes it has a fair bit to look at though um, when we scale we're going to scale um, on the registration point rather than the left hand corner or an average and we're doing roughly the same thing here where we're saying these, this cursor is going to be included in the scaling of this object and uh, that's how quickly it will do the scaling. Um, so that's it. That moves pictures around with a flashlight. Uh, quite a wonderful feeling. Of course you probably want to get your fingers going there maybe on some vellum and there's a number of ways that you can uh, do multi-touch tables. Just have a look online and YouTube and you can see some ways of constructing that. I'm inventor Dan Zen. Let's take a pop back to the Dodo site. I hope you come by dodoflash.wordpress.com and uh, visit the other Flash Feathers series as well. Uh, if you use Dodo, you're welcome to donate at Karmacha and uh, add your link. That would be super. So we hope to hear from you soon, and best of luck using uh, Dodo.